I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on limits. The question here is to evaluate limit of square root x minus 1 divided by cube root of x minus 1 where the limit is to be found for x approaching 1. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. The best method to do this is probably substitution. So we'll substitute cube root of x with some variable. Now if I substitute cube root of x with some variable, it may not really help us since we have square root here in the numerator. So in such cases, what we can do is we can substitute sixth root of x. Let me rewrite this question first as limit x approaching 1, x to the power of half, to explain you better, this is x to the power of half minus 1 over x to the power of 1 over 3 minus 1. So that is the question for us. Now if I substitute cube root of x as a variable, then this will not be a whole number in the exponent for the numerator. Do you understand? And that is the reason why in this particular case we kind of substitute uh, sixth root of x as a variable. Let's say this variable is p. Now in that case what will be the third root? that would be square of this, right? So in that case, x to the power of 1 over 3 is going to be p square, you understand? And for getting the square root, we'll have to square p, right? So, uh, I mean q p. So when you multiply this by 3, then it becomes p cubed. So uh, x to the power of 1 over 2 is going to be p cubed. You get the idea. So it is because of this that the substitution is for x to the power of 1 over 6 as p. Now when you substitute that, then as x approaches 1, what value will p approach? p will also approach 1 since 6th root of x is also 1, right? So once we do this substitution, we can rewrite the question as limit p approaching 1 and now square root of x is p cube so we have p cube minus 1 divided by p square minus 1 I hope you understand so that is now the question right so let's move forward we can now expand p cube minus 1 the expansion a cube minus b cube will be applied. It is p minus 1 times p square plus their product which is p plus 1 square which is 1. And in the denominator we get p plus 1 times p minus 1. Now p minus 1, p minus 1 are the common factors they were resulting this limit to be undefined, right? So once you substitute 1 here, you get 0 over 0, correct? Since it was 0 over 0, there was a common factor, and this is the common factor. Now we can cancel and then find the limit by substituting p as equal to 1, right? So we have this expression as p squared plus p plus 1 divided by p plus 1. In this case, p is not equal to 1. We are approaching 1. So we are very, very close to 1. And therefore, we substitute 1 here. So it is like point, 1.0001 point zero 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 one kind of, right? It's not exactly 1. So approximately, approaching is always an approximate value. We substitute 1 here. So we get 1 plus 1 plus 1 divided by p is 1, 1 plus 1. That gives us 3 over 2. And therefore, our answer for this question is 
3 over 2. All right? So that is how this question can be solved. I hope you understand and appreciate the method. Important thing here is the right substitution over the, which is shown here. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.